All right, so now let's uh, think about this example. So here I still have three alternatives. All right, A is equal to X, Y, and Z. All right, well, these three, uh, and I have three agents, N is equal to three, and in fact, uh, I name the agents as agent A, B, and C. All right, well, these agents' preferences are given as follows. Agent A ranks X as the first best, Y as the second best, Z as the third best. This is agent B's ranking, this is agent C's ranking. And then given that this is the uh, profile of preferences of the uh, society, what can we say about the aggregate uh, ranking according to Condorcet voting? Well, the Condorcet, because I have three, we have three alternatives, uh, Condorcet is going to compare uh, uh, will make three comparisons, X versus Y, all right, X versus Z, and then uh, uh, Y versus Z, all right, as we did in the previous example. So when it comes to X and Y, uh, what is the majority saying? X better than Y, Y better than X, X better than Y. So two people, agent A and C, says, uh, say X is better than Y. So here, because the number of agents is three, the majority is two or more. So therefore, socially, X should be above Y, all right? What about X versus Z? So A puts X above Z, uh, B does the opposite, and, and same as uh, agent C, all right? So two of the agents, B and C, ranks Z better than X, so therefore the majority says Z is better than X. All right, so therefore the social uh, ranking should be as such. And finally, Y versus Z. A says Y better than Z. B uh, agrees with agent A. So hence we have the majority. We don't really care about what agent C thinks. And uh, therefore socially, according to Condorcet voting, Y should be ranked above Z. Okay, so now let's bring them together. So according to this conclusion, X should be above Y. And then according to this, Z should be above X. So therefore, Z should be above X. And it seems like Z should be above Y as well. But it says the opposite, Y has to be below Z. Uh, I'm sorry, Y should be above Z. So this is a problem because Z cannot be... Uh, better than Y and at the same time worse than uh, Y, all right? So we can't say Y and Z are indifferent, right? Because it implies X is better than Z if Y and Z are indifferent. And if X is better than Y, it automatically means X should be better than Z, but we know that Z is better than X. So it's not equivalence. Here, what we're having is what we call intransitive preferences. Remember, uh, binary relations, many binary relations that we know of mathematics, for example, greater than or equal to is a transitive relationship. I mean, what do I mean? It's like if A, B, C are three real numbers, and if A is greater than or equal to B, and B is greater than or equal to C, well, then automatically, uh, we impl I mean, this implies that A is greater than or equal to C, right? So this is what we mean by transitivity. However, here, we don't have that transitivity. So that's a problem. Why is that so? Well, here is the reason. So let's suppose we give these guys alternative X, all right? We say, oh, this is the socially best alternative. Actually, it's not. Why? Because socially best alternative, I mean, when it comes to X versus Y, yes, X is better than Y, but it really isn't socially better or, or socially best because Z is socially better than uh, X. All right. Well, therefore, let's give them Z. But the thing is, Z is not the socially best alternative because uh, Y is socially better than Z. All right, so there's a better alternative socially. Well, okay, let's give them Y then. But no, we can't because Y isn't the socially best alternative because X is socially better than Y. So Y cannot be socially best. 
But we already said X is not the socially best alternative. So you see what I mean? We have this cycle which we call Condorcet cycle and this situation we call Condorcet paradox. So we can't find socially best alternative because there's always an alternative socially more preferred than the other. All right. And so it's an error in a sense. Remember, we're trying to come up with a function and Pn is the domain for some profiles of rankings. It gives me a, a ranking of uh, alternatives, fine. But sometimes it gives me something which is not in uh, this set P, uh, for example, this one. And I can't uh, find the socially best alternative. So that's a problem. So the question is, Although this is an intuitive voting rule, can we come up with some other voting rules which do not have this weird property? So, uh, well, there are many others. Uh, Borda is one of them, uh, but it has its own problems. So I'm going to talk about Borda count voting in the next video. Okay?